I just wanted to give you a little bit of help on this problem. We've had a lot of problems like this, and of course they're designed just to get you thinking. Remember when we divide fractions, we're actually using the inverse operation, so we're going to um, keep the first one, change um, division to multiplication, and then flip that second fraction. So let's, let's say I, <coughs> excuse me, let's say I start with a fraction like, um, I don't know, one half, you know, since I can only use the digits one through nine, I kind of think, oh, you know what, I'm going to think of an equivalent fraction to one half. Maybe I'll start with two fourths and then um, I'm going to divide by three eighths. So I'm thinking how many three eighths are in two fourths? So my problem becomes two fourths times eight thirds. And now I've got 16 twelfths. Well, I can see that 16 twelfths is not going to fit in here because I only have one digit on the bottom. Some of you are kind of ignoring the, the boxes, but that's kind of the fun part of this. this is, that's the puzzle piece of this, is that you have to keep going until you find something that's just gonna give you that one digit down here. Good luck.